some. Y'all some ninjas. Y'all some fickle, two-faced, wavering, fair-weather ninjas. You feel me? Man, y'all. Okay, so I was watching Carcino. Of course, y'all know Carcino is my uh, YouTube boyfriend in my mind. But, um, um, so I was watching him, and his thumbnail is a picture of Nicki Minaj before the butt implants. Then he has another video where he had, um, where he had, uh, showed a picture of, of, um, uh, Nicki Minaj emulating Kim Kardashian when she came out on that music award um, show. I forget the name of the show. And she had that little flower pasty on her boob. And, and Donna Ross walked up to him and was like, what is this? And was like, what is this? I can't do it because that's kind of, uh, you know, distasteful. But, um, yeah, what is this? And she looked a freaking mess like she had on these shorts and then this jacket she just looked a mess like whoever even styled her she looked a friggin mess okay so let me get to this let me let me start by saying this and i'm gonna include myself a little bit in this uh video but um for some reason She's panicking, and um, I, I see her panicking, and like if I was in her life, I would say, uh, maybe you need to, um, you know, go take a drink or something, go have a glass of wine, or either uh, smoke some weed or tweeds or something, do something, so you can go in your room and just be like, just go to your room. Don't make no phone calls. Don't send out no tweets. Don't look at social media. Just go in your room. Like literally, the way that this social media universe is worked up, if you just sit back and chill long enough, eventually people will start talking about something else. That's just what it is. But by you keep doing things, it's like, it's like you're showing the world that you're panicking. And like this is really bothering you because you're calling around you're making these calls like from what i understand she's making calls to outlets to media outlets saying you know don't play the music uh, i mean don't play sheether on your platform like from what i understand it's been taken down from world star hip-hop but i think it's still on apple something like that so she's actually trying to use her powers, which she's losing, um, to, to, you know, make this whole thing disappear. And what's messed up is the same friggin' thing happened with her, with her ass, with me, Mill, with Meek Mill. Like the same friggin' thing. Like just relax, just chill, just go to the corners and where. Sit down. I know you're gonna be stressed out wherever you are, but you won't be if you drink a glass of wine or, or you know, go to the doctor, tell the doctor to give you this some Xanax, whatever white rich people do. I was gonna say white people, but whatever rich people do, you know, give me a pill so I can relax. And then you go and you just sleep for like three or four days. If you go away, then it'll go. If you lay down, it'll go away when you wake back up. I promise it'll go away. Like, you know, like right now, you know, it, 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 you'll be okay. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So I'm like, girl, go over there. They're like, where are your friends, girl? Why none of your friends told you, girl? You look a goddamn one full with that blazer on, and you like it looked like part of the blazer was cut out so her breast can hang out, and it literally looked like she got some tapes, a piece of tape over her thing. Like, and she keep trying to use her body to, um, I guess distract people from you know the the Sheether song, and it's not working. 
It's not freaking working. Especially since your ex-man that put it out there that them butt cheeks ain't doing too well right now. They ain't doing too well. Which takes me to me. When I got my surgery done, like I told y'all, I was inverted. You hear me? Inverted. I always had big boobs, always was really curvy, always had big hips, always. When I tell you I was bad from the front, I mean bad, you know. But then, child, when I walked past you, it was disappointment. Womp, womp. So, you know, when I got to the point where I was like, you know, I got some bread right now. Or I got enough bread to want to get my butt cheeks done. So let me get it done. Especially since now it's just so affordable for anybody to go get their butt cheeks done. So what I decided was, well, off the break, I already decided that I wasn't going to have one of those really big, big butts. Even though girls pay for that. But I told you I used to mess with this pimp, Leo Pimp. Um, loved, loved, love them. I, you know, I just... Just, I, I don't, see, pimp that pimp thing didn't bother me. Because in my mind, I'm always working towards a bigger goal. Little small stuff didn't bother, you don't don't bother me. Like, he, the people would be like, Nay, how did you mess with a pimp? And all them women being around. All them women don't bother me. I'm not, I'm not worried about them, them, them women. He was going to marry me. You feel me? He wanted to marry me. But all them other, you know, women he had, go, look, it, 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 that was about business. That that was uh, I'm focusing on a bigger goal. I ain't got time to be worried about BS. But he told me he said, "Nay, don't do that. Don't get one of them big old busts if you're not gonna make no money off of it." So I kept that in mind when I made my decision to get work done, and I said, "Well, from what I do for a living, and because I'm in like working around all these white folks." Then white folks is not going to be comfortable with seeing me with these great big bodacious, this great big bodacious delicious butt. It's nice to look at. I mean, it is. But then in the work world, what you going to wear to work? What pair of pants you going to fit over top of that bank? That girl can't wear no pants. Then she's going to be wearing spandex for the rest of her friggin' life. Is them not, uh, what you call them things? Um, 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 you know, the, the thing, the, um. You know, oh God, I can't, I don't know why, the opposite of Brazilian. If it's not them things where they stick up in there, like the silicone or, damn, I'm sorry, God, I don't know why I can't think, but the, the, the butt cheeks, the silicone butt cheeks that you're putting in, in your, um, butt. If it's not them things, um, and that she could take them out and she could like get them taken down, she gonna have that big jiggly butt when she's 70. You feel me? She can't be in the corporate world because you can't even fit, you can't even fit pants over top of that butt. You're going to have to wear spandex to work. And I'm not doing that. So I knew what I did for a living and that I couldn't have a big bodacious butt like that. I knew that. Whereas with her, it's like Carcino made a very valid point when he was saying how um, she wouldn't even let people... Take pictures of her butt, which is true. She did not make any. When she first came out, it was not about her butt at all. It wasn't about her body at all. But now all she's doing is focusing on her butt. Like now all she's doing is just dealing with her, trying to show her body to take away from what's really going on. And that just shows desperation. You dig? And I don't ever want to rely on my body for nothing that's another reason why i didn't want to get a great big old bodacious butt because i don't want to rely on my my ass or my tail to 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 make somebody interested in me because after a while it's not going to be interesting like once people found out that that them butt cheeks be looking a mess which they you know they might touch on here and touch on there and say something here and there but now that meekness said what he said about it man let me tell you something that is disloyalty at its must at its finest to me if we've been in a relationship together there's no way that you're supposed to drag your your ex i wouldn't drag my believe me it's a lot of cruddy sh i could say about my ex but because i say i love that man or there was a time that i loved him there's no way 
that I would drag him after the fact. Oh, and I'm I'm not happy with some of his actions. I'm telling you that for real. But I'm not going to be able on one hand to be like I love that man with all my heart. Just like my ex-girlfriend. Um, I can't say that I love her or him with all my daggone heart. Then turn around and say something bad and put that energy in the universe. To me, that's disloyal. You know, like like I said, this loyalty means everything to me. For real. Loyalty means everything. My thing is, I wouldn't do anything to mess with my person's money. And Meek Mill has messed with that daggone girl's money. Now. Now you didn't gave information to the in, to the enemy about her secrets. So now you messing with this girl money and now she going through all these she's stressed out. She's stressed out. You know? I mean, Nick, you need to be old Patty with him because you got them petty tendencies. I seen her. You need to start saying stuff about him too now. You know, if you immature like that. And I ain't immature like that, but since he want to throw you out there and mess with your money, oh, because now your money messed with, baby. Now these people ain't taking you for serious no more, baby. Now these fair weather, wishy-washy people ready to put Remy Ma up on a pedestal and call her, um, uh, I don't know, mama bear, whatever they going to call her. You feel me? You know, it, it's, it's, it's over. I'm sorry, baby. It's over. I don't know what you're going to do. Actually, I do know what you're going to do. You need to go in the room, get you a Xanax, you know, whatever rich people do, get your old Xanax, go in the room, stay out of sight for about a year. You feel me? Get back with Safari, because he'll take you back, girl. He'll take you back. And come back with fire. Because now it's obvious now that Safari was doing most of your rhymes. Because you're not doing anything spectacular no more, girl. Nothing. Man, you better get back with Safari. You're welcome. Nay says, have a good one. Peace.